everyone. My name is Sohei. I'm a jack.org network rep and I'm from Nunavut. So I'm joined here today with Desire and I'm really excited to have him here. I'm a singer songwriter. I'm currently residing in Toronto, um, but I'm originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo. You're from an African country and you moved <laughs> here yeah. when you were like a uh, preteen. Yeah. I'm also from an African country. I'm Nigerian. Yeah. And I was born in Nigeria and I moved here when I was like seven. Uh -huh. um, so we kind of have like similar experiences as immigrants. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the transition was pretty difficult. You know, um, we from a French speaking country. So by the time we arrived, we um, didn't speak any English. Um, we didn't really know anybody. We sort of had to just start over. Government housing and uh, being supported by welfare all things that um, I myself didn't really realize affected uh, the state of my mental health, right? One of the main things that I always try to achieve in my music is to uh, help and uplift people. And, you know, it's always important for me to uh, have uh, like nice, uplifting messages in there just so that if some young, some young kid out there is going through the same thing, they're able to press play and, you know, have the same experience that I had growing up. As Black people, you know, sometimes not having access to all the resources that we need, sometimes music, you know, is our therapy. It's very exhausting right now to be mm -hmm. a Black person uh, with all the stuff that's going on and, you know, constantly seeing and replaying um, some of the injustices yeah. that have uh, taken place, you know, around the world. And yeah. it's important that we take the time to really care for ourselves and be around people who support us and Absolutely. love us, you know, yeah. our family members and stuff, and take time to recuperate so that we can get back up. There's a difference between love and support. You know, um, somebody somebody may love you, but they may not know how to support you. And somebody may support you, but mm -hmm. they may not know how to love you. Um, and really knowing knowing the difference between the two um, and seeking people that don't just give you one, but that give you both. Especially in the Black community, um, we often aren't given the tools to get access to that information and to share that information as well. It's about knowing how to set your life up um, to be able to enjoy things around you. You know, unfortunately, this is our everyday life, right? Like yeah. being exhausted, being tired of, you yeah. know, all the stuff that's going on. It's just a regular part and right yeah. now it's amplified and it's just, it's a lot. So it is important. I do like totally agree with you that it's important to take the time to self care and take care of ourselves before we get back out there and continue fighting. In the ABC community, the African, Black, and Caribbean community, um, your mental health is not really something you talk about much. Mm -hmm. And yeah. most of it's probably behind the stigma of needing to be strong and needing, because there's just so much working against you as a Black person that mm -hmm. you don't have the time to be weak. You don't have the time to think too much about your emotions. Yeah. You know, so I kind of had all those notions growing up. And then, you know, uh, something really traumatic happened to me when I was a teenager and I was struggling with PTSD for a bit and I didn't really understand how to go about it and know who to talk to and I just like things were just changing for me and um, I ended up just realizing that like at this point I need to talk to someone like I need mm -hmm. I need someone to hear me and mm -hmm. hear my words and know that like I'm feeling a certain way and after that and getting help and talking to a guidance counselor at my school it really just opened up this whole new world for me like I'm not alone like mm, people are here yeah. to support me and it doesn't mean I'm not strong, you know, like it doesn't mean that I'm not the strong black independent woman, you know, doing yeah. my own thing, you know, I'm just like, it just means like I need to take care of myself. I need to get things right with myself, you know, and then I also um, have friends who I've lost to suicide as well in the past couple of years and I want their message and I want the, unfortunately, they couldn't carry on, but I want to carry on for them. And mm -hmm. I want other people to um, realize, you know, the importance of mental health. I want to eradicate the stigma in my community here in Akhalui and in the territory of Nunu mm -hmm. on um, suicide and continue aiding the growth of suicide prevention in our community. So yeah, and then I found Jack and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's my journey.
that's an incredible story, you know, and I think it's so important to see um, Black people talk about this, you know, because I think, especially for me growing up, you know, you, like, I didn't see this, you know, I didn't see this. So um, thank you for all the work that you do and for sharing your story. It's so important. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I think that we need to hear another song for you. I know I'm ready because I'm- Are you like, ready? Okay. I want to hear this voice again. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Okay, so here we go. I can see the silver lining. I can feel my sun shining. I can do the silver lining. I can feel my sun shining. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on with the Black Lives Movement. There's a lot of stuff going on within the Black community and um, within our, my community. Mm -hmm. And I think that just hearing you talk about the silver lining is like, yeah. yes, there's a silver lining. People are there hearing, people are seeing struggles, people are yeah. understanding. You know, sometimes it feels like our work is just, you know, is just in vain, right? Because you're like, what's sending an email going to do? What's sending a petition going to do? You know, what's going to a protest going to do? But, you know, literally just over the past week and a half, so many changes have been made. And I think, um, you know, not and not just for Black people, but for, you know, people in general, it's important for us to come together to really, you know, make a change. Going to the pro protests, being allies, you know, um, educating yourselves on, you know, Black struggles and what Black struggles look like in Canada and mm -hmm. not just like in the States as we we're seeing all over social media. You know, there's a lot of struggles here within the Black and Indigenous communities in Canada and yeah. kind of being more open, right, and being more knowledgeable. Things are very different, you know, for Black people, you know, and, you know, and um, it's great that you, the world is finally getting to see um, what life is like on this side, right? So, yeah. yeah. Keep doing the work. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I absolutely love talking to you, and I'm so glad that you came here and you're having this conversation. And honestly, I this week has been tough, but you have just, like, sending you love. Sending you love. Talking about stuff. silver yes. linings and stuff. Yes. <laughs> for a long time i was under the assumption that taking care of your physical body also meant taking care of your mind you know so you read all the books and you know they always say in school make sure you go for a run and make sure you drink your water and all of those things are great but you know none of that really prospers unless up here you know is balanced right so um take care of yourself make changes you know educate yourself um, and yeah spread love spread love Spread love. Red love. Oh my gosh, Zyra, Red spread love. That is the message. Like, oh the my gosh, message. you and I are really one at this point. I'm really glad to have met you. And I hope we can continue having these conversations outside of this um, live uh, session. And I hope that people actually continue to um, learn and grow, um, mm -hmm. listen to Desire and hear his music and vibe to it because I'm vibing to it. Thank and you. like, you're, you're so awesome and actually so inspiring. And I hope that black youth are looking at this and knowing that there are people out there who are mm -hmm. for them and who are hearing them and who are fighting for them really. Yeah. Because I think that that's very much needed.